From the primordial cloud of gas and cosmic dust, gravity forged the stars. Gravity connects star systems together in vast galaxies and steers them on their journey through unbounded space. The relentless flow of time has driven the evolution of the universe and created extraordinary wonders. Some galaxies form so close together that they're locked in a gravitational embrace. What a magnificent sight it would be. is the great creator, the constructor of worlds. But gravity is also the destroyer, because it's relentless. When a star around 15 times the mass of our sun collapses, all the matter in its core is crushed into an infinite void of blackness known as a stellar mass black hole. The immense gravitational pull of these monsters can rip a star apart. They tear matter from its surface and drag it into orbit. This superheated matter spins around the mouth of the black hole and great jets of radiation fire from the core. Although these jets can be seen across the cosmos, the core itself remains a mystery. Not even light can escape, so their interior is forever hidden from us. Throughout a star's life, there is a constant battle between energy pushing out and gravity pushing in. When it runs out of fuel, the star collapses and then explodes with the brightness of a billion suns. As the star is torn apart, it will fire out into space all the elements that it created in its life and death. These are new stars forming from the elements blown out by supernova explosions. New stars being born from the remains of dead ones. And it's from this universal process of death and rebirth that we emerged. Because it was in a nebula just like this, five billion years ago, that our sun was formed.
clouds of hydrogen collapse further and further under the force of gravity and the life cycle of a new star has begun. A star was born that would come to be known as the Sun. Around it, a network of planets formed. Among them was the Earth. What we see around us is staggering complexity. Is it possible? Well, first, you need energy. But not too much. You also need a great diversity of chemical elements. And you need liquids, such as water. And then suddenly, advanced organisms appeared.